Hey guys, it's Jet Mega Guy once again. Since I reviewed the original Teen Titans itself, it's time to review the movie itself, Trouble in Tokyo. Came in the year of 2006. So let's get started. So what the plot is, we have the Titans facing off a villain called Seco Tech. Heck, heck, who destroys the tower, then Robin holds him for answers, until he tells him that he was sent by Northern Brussel Gun. So he and his teammates decide to take a trip to Tokyo. And, and sometime way in the movie, he, and, Seto Tag start attacking each other, but unfortunately, Robin gets arrested, for like no reason at all. And it's up to the rest of the Titans to figure out the whole story of Russia Gun. That's just like basically what the plot is. Now I'm going to tell you guys a story back. I didn't see much of the, much of this movie on Cartoon Network. A long time ago. But I do remember a few of the scenes that I watched when I watched it for the first time on Cartoon Network as a kid. I do remember the scene where Cyborg was eating so much food at that buffet. And then when the chef F took the food away, but when I rewatched that scene, Cyborg informs him that it was an all you can eat buffet. A then the chef decides to feed him more, and then Cyborg, and then he and Cyborg figures out that he couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> and I and I like and I kind of when I like the scene where Beast Boy is singing the Teen Titans theme song. Sorry, got a drink. As I was saying, I like the scene where Beast Boy was singing the Teen Titans theme song, but with his own lyrics. And, 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 the, and those tons of girls become so attracted to him. And, and also when when Robin escapes prison he takes another person's clothes to pretend to be somebody else to not be Robin anymore. Or, but, the, 
people that don't follow it. So the West of the Titans want to we will hide out where no one will ever find them. And also, there's this scene where I also like, I also have this scene where where Beast, I mean, where Raven. Raven was questioning about a donkey, donkey, a donkey candy bar. That was kind of funny. <laughs> when all when all the Titans went to that. I know, after being chased by all those people, Starfire gives Robin a, a spare set of clothes. When Raven got that book all about Brussels Gun and learned his backstory. And then, like a few minutes later, Later, all the Titans go to Brussel Gun Gun's hideout and see that he's been held prison for like a long time. I'm and the and then the Titans discover that that villain who. Arrested Robin for no reason was the one behind all this. And then he turns into a into a giant black black disgusting monster which I Oh man, I forgot this was the climax scene. Man, this has got to be the awesome part of the movie. Overall, the villain gets defeated, and Robin finally confesses his feelings with Starfire. And then they kiss. Unlike Star and Marco not kissing in the finale of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Not giving away spoilers. In the end of the movie, the mayor of Tokyo congratulates the Titans for saving their city. Ugh. I don't think I have anything else to say about this movie. This movie is, like, a thousand times better than Teen Titans Go to the Movies. That movie really sucked. By the way, Teen Titans Trouble in Tokyo gets, of course... A uh, ten out uh, of ten. 
man. If you haven't seen it, my God, where the heck you been? Go watch it. And my next review is, oh my God, Teen Titans Go. I hate that show so much. Stay tuned for my extreme. Stay tuned for my extreme rant. This is Santa Mega Guy signing off. Goodbye.